This video explains how to group data frame rows based on certain ranges using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first step in this video, we need to create an example data frame as you can see in lines two to three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data values is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the console that we have created a data frame containing 14 rows and two columns, which are called group and value. Now let's assume that we want to summarize the values in our data set based on a certain range of groups. Then we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the functions of the dplyr package, such as mutate, group by, and summarize. So in this case, I want to group our data based on the group column and based on the sequences that are specified by the seek function. And then I'm assigning these outputs to the cut function to create our ranges. This code might look a little bit complicated. However, you can find the entire code in the description of this video, so you can just copy and paste it from there. So after running lines nine to 14 of the code, a new data frame called data values range is created. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that we have created two new columns in a new data set. The first column is called ranges. And this column is based on the group column of our input data frame. And as you can see, we have created three different ranges so the first range is ranging from 2010 to 2015. The second range is ranging from 2015 to 2020 and so on. And then in the second column, which is called sums, you can see the sum values of the values in each of those groups. So in this first example of this tutorial, I have explained how to group the rows of a data frame based on ranges of values. However, it's also possible to group the rows of a data frame based on a range of dates. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 17 of the code. So as a very first step, we need to create another example data frame, as you can see in lines 17 to 20. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data dates is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 21. And then you can see that we have created a new data set which contains 18 rows and two columns. The first column contains dates and the second column contains values. Now, if we want to group our data based on certain date ranges, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 23 to 32. So in this case, I'm once again using the functions of the dplyr package, such as mutate, group, by, and summarize. However, then this time I'm specifying within the cut function that I want to cut our data based on certain dates. So after running lines 23 to 32 of the code, another data set called data dates range is appearing at the top right. And if we print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have created another data frame which contains two columns. The first column contains our ranges. So this is always the starting point of our range. And then you can see on the right side that we have created another column which is called sums. And this column contains the sum of values in this date range. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. 
Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.